Hello users, today I have a goodie to show. A game demo that goes by the name Jack Red Rum. This is something I came across during my recent ventures on Twitter and after having pleasant interaction with the devs in tweets and then messages, they invited me to try the demo and I happily obliged. This led me to writing a review on the game demo. So before we dive into it, I'd be very grateful if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. These aren't mandatory, but they will help me big time in letting YouTube recommend the videos. Now then, it is time to explain the basic mechanics, that is, the basic tutorial along with dramatization of the stories explaining the one minor problem which will be resolved and expressing my anticipation for the hidden choices. All in all, a dope review. Am I right? Or am I right? So, let us traverse through space and time and into the game world of Jack Red Rum in a bleak night covered by the blanket of darkness. A young one saw light originating from a mysterious mansion with the help of a ladder and assistance from a doll. He climbed into the abandoned home and lightning cackled. What happened next was astonishing to say the least. The boy's soul was fused into the puppet and the horrifying evils of the house had now been awoken. They had surveillance on each floor, and in order to bypass it, you need to appease the lords by offering them ghosts. And so we proceed to the tutorials. With your ghost catching nets and tubes, you stay in this area. Remember, a combo of three or more will lead the ghost to directly become offerings to the Lord. Once you catch the ghost, you have to assign from where the ghost enters the tube and in which one it will be temporarily stored. The ghosts also have a category of their own. The colorful ones are the normal ones, so the rule of three or more will apply here. Then there is the white ghost who blast away an entire tube. The points will be counted and even included as combos. This will naturally lead them to be far in between the levels. Be sure to make full use of this opportunity. And last but not the least are the transparent ones. These guys don't match with anything, resulting in formation of barriers. You will have to inevitably use the great white ones and hope it all works out for the best. The recommended strategy would be isolating them on a certain area while you handle the rest of the curse and wait for the white one. As you go down the levels, the stage difficulty will increase and so a plethora of calculations will be needed to get a perfect score. Now I will showcase a 30 second clip of third level and after that I'll be showcasing the final level. You will clearly understand the difference. In these levels you just have to remember the patterns and everything will be solved.
However, in the last ones, you not only have to remember the patterns that they are arranged in the tube initially, but also how they will be arriving along with making sure to sort them out and remembering the order. The speed will also mess you up. But it's not all bleakness. In fact, there is another button here. The button A is actually a special. This slows down time and lets you contemplate your choices. Be wise, as this is what I would limit to using only once. Also now we come to the minute problem that I had with my laptop control scheme. The controls were I, K, O, L, A. This was not a viable one and hence I informed them of this problem via messages. The devs replied swiftly stating that they are working on the solution and this issue won't persist in the final version. Alongside this there is even the allure of 150 plus levels and the complete version of this enchanting lore. So if you want to see if Jack ever resurrects in his original body, then please be sure to play the complete game. Also something else to look forward to is the musical choices. The BGMs and SFX for this game are not yet decided and the ones you heard previously are generated from copyright free music and SFX easily found online. All in all, it's a pretty nice game with amazing artwork and sturdy mechanics. I will encourage you to follow my and their Twitter accounts as a show of support and I will keep the community updated on YouTube and Twitter as I hear any news of this game regarding its official release dates. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. This will be all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and most importantly have a great day.